585 active. I hate the house. This house sucks. Built in 05. 97 neighbors. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, it's an influencer's house. Cool. Damn. Yeah, man, the house blows. I'm sorry. I know Jesus is uh, here in the home, but he's not here in the leaving the. Uh, nice. I like that you put. I like that you put your um, your Those pots, your so pots so and pans in bondage. I'm glad. I'm glad every, <laughs> looks like a. <laughs> Come here, pig. <laughs> Come here, pig ladle. Come on, pig saucepan. Get down here, pig saucepan. Everybody see my little pig saucepan? Everybody can see my, my non-uniform pots and pans. Great. Nice. I see placement of everything is your forte. Man, you've nailed placement. I like the two chairs in front of the window right next to the treadmill. Great job. Cool. Spooky. Hey, why not? Leave one gaming chair in the corner. Could be you. Good, I'm glad the rugs are fucking original to the house. Nothing like a nice old, thin, fucking dying, dead wall-to-wall -wall carpet. Hey, why don't we go with 90 materials in the garden, everybody? Let's do 90 fucking materials. You know what? Let's get some fucking black mulch and some red mulch, and then we'll go get some stones, and then we'll put a little koi pond that doesn't matter or work. Um, but we'll put a $350 Japanese maple, sunset Japanese maple. Or, um, yeah, no. Um, yeah, I absolutely, I mean, the, look at the back of this house. The front of this house is 500000 The back of this house looks like two cousins are going to fuck each other on the grill. So, um, yeah, I hate it. Sorry. And it's, and it's expensive. Um, I don't know. Those things trade like condos, man. That's, that's what I'm always going to say. That stuff, like, I know that's what you got out there, but it's just an uninspiring piece of shit. I'm sorry. It's just like a square footage play. When you live in a house like that, you're going to be talking about your neighbor's finished basement and that just slightly edging yours out price-wise by fifteen to 20000 It's a fun life. Cool. We're caught up. 5314 Old Hickory Boulevard, Nashville, Tennessee. Um, we've got a nice... Look at this fucking Ozark fucking mother, motherfucking house. Jesus Christ. Great guy. Hey, hey, guys, put everything you got in the living room. Give it all you got. Beautiful. I like this. Let's throw a comforter over a pile of trash. Nice. We're selling the house, right? Cool, we got goth. We got clean goth. I like how the uh, the neatest one is the goth. That's always interesting, right? We got whatever. We got, geez Louise, man. I'm fucking terrified. Sweet. Let's play a game. Let's play clean, clean the fucking house. We're trying to sell it. Why do you not value the home in which you live? Why don't you clean it before you list it? Maybe put all the toys away. You have one day, and then the price will be reduced by how embarrassed your realtor is during the open house. Every drop of sweat that comes from the brow of your realtor, I will cut into your foot. Yeah, I can't take that stuff. That, like, that's the stuff that, like, <clears throat> you know, a, good, a, a friend would have given you the tough love couple more here mm. mob world with the 30 keep up the mm. good work fellas hey, and it's his first ever super Yo, chat thank thanks, you man thank you for choosing Appreciate us man that. what is the worst tenant story you've heard or landlord experience you've had nick oh my god man i had i had nightmares of tenants i've seen whew, i'm trying to think of things we had i had a tenant right i had these two strippers living next door yeah and they they would get in fist fights the first this is a true story they would fight each other? They would fight each other. The That's first day they moved fun. into each other, right? They, like, conned me. They, 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 anyway, they, um, they lived, I lived in a duplex. They lived inside. I lived with my friend Dean and my friend Ryan Krause. And it was our first night moving in. We were, like, 22. And we were all, like, first beer, literally. Like, moved our shit in, got the cables on, the, everything's up, fucking Xbox is on. The, uh, the two strippers, they're old, they were older than us. We were 22. They were, like, 30. Yeah. Um... One of them knocks on the door. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> there was like a shared door in the middle. Yeah. Like, I shit you not. Like, you gotta get this girl away from me. And the other one was like this. <laughs> like literally like that. Like running at like, like a 90 pound 
fucking wire-eyed stripper. They were, she tried to hit her. She was punching right over her back, right in the middle of the living room. We're like, we, we were like smoking a, blunt. I think we were smoking a blunt at the time. We were like, yeah. what the fuck is going on? Or just like, yeah, man. like something happened. Someone said something to someone. I had to pull them off. And they ended up like calming down. Scratches on their face, like bloody scratches, oh like inch long. Like not like blood everywhere, but like yeah. like deep fingernail scratches. I was like, holy shit. Jesus. Um, that, that girl ended up leaving dog shit. Two inches thick in the. It was a three bedroom apartment. Yeah. Um. I ended up foreclosing on the property, fucking my whole life up. That was the one. I just basically left the keys in the door. They wouldn't do a loan modification, so I was like, "All right, I'm leaving it." I lived in it for free for twelve months, and then I went and I was homeless. It was awesome, but, and it was the best time of my life. Sam was living there. It was super fun. Yeah. And uh, the the she stayed in like the crack house the whole time and like lived in it for free for like another eight months and she really? left dog shit in the middle room so bad that there were like uh, piles of trash and rats climbing to the second floor. So yeah, owning a multi's cool. Multi-family investment home. <laughs> cool. That worked out good for me. That's a good, that's, that's hard to top. Uh, yeah, dude, don't rent to fucking like uh, people who want to like grow weed and like that fucking fuck that, all that shit. Fucking strippers are just fucking out of control. And I did a favor for a friend of a friend, and it just blew up my face. And fucking, where are they? Hey, man, the the girl you told me was cool is a fucking psychopath. Yeah. You owe me eight grand. Like, what am I gonna say? Oh, I can't believe that happened, dude. Are you fucking crazy? Are you serious? That's what I get on the phone. I knew she was a little crazy. I didn't know it was like that, that, dude. Oh, I'm like, oh, cool. Well, my fucking house is basically burned down to the ground. Thanks for the recommendation. I'm stupid for fucking agreeing to it. So I was just so happy to get a tenant in there, but. Um, yeah, I don't, that's why I don't, I can't be a landlord ever again. It just traumatized me. <laughs> ah, crashing. Yeah. Um, all right. World Cure here with the 25. Nick, being a Rhode Island native with rotting teeth, uh, were you a survivor of the station nightclub fire? <gasps> uh, was Great White worth dying over? No, I was not a survivor. No, no, no. I died that night. <laughs> no, I, I died that night along <laughs> that. We are Rhode Islanders. The biggest tragedy, the. That was in Rhode Island? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, the idiot owners. Jesus. A whole bunch, a litany of shit with that. Other tons of innocent people dying. Lighting fireworks next to drapes. Guys, if you uh, if you don't know about the station nightclub fire, uh, there's look it up on YouTube after the stream. There's a really interesting, like, 10-minute documentary about it. It's a good watch. It's a Rhode Island bar that burnt down. <coughs> Tragic. Yeah, they, they, they... I worked for a fire sprinkler company after that. Really? Yeah, I was a fire sprinkler estimator. For a short period of time, yeah, yeah, and um, just a lot of a lot of legislation came in after for like yeah. fire sprinkler buildings, and you start talking all these big mill buildings have fire sprinklers. That's why a lot of people don't buy them. Fire sprinkler systems are fucking super expensive. Yeah. So like after the they burn the building out, everything over ten thousand square feet had to have fire sprinklers. That's why these large mills don't trade hands because they have a like a little a little tax. Yeah. For safety, but and rightfully so. It's just. They're not. They're no joke when it comes to cost and backflows and fucking. It's it's outlandish. So it'll slowly. It'll uh just put the whole project like it'll shift the, the cost basis. It's just like oh yeah, I gotta I buy I gotta put a fucking wet system in from the fucking street and you know two hundred heads and blah blah blah. That's why these things are. It's one of the costly little side little caveats you don't know about. Mar-a-Lago's got the best fire suppression systems, <laughs> dry <laughs> systems, wet systems, uh, simplex Grinnell, top of the line backflow prevention. <laughs> <laughs>